Boom. Groovy, 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 groovy. What's going on, everybody? It's X10. You already know the fucking vibes. We're trying to do more tutorials. I keep saying we're trying to do more tutorials. We are doing more tutorials. We're doing a lot more. We're getting active. We're doing a bit of work. You know what I mean? We're just... We're trying to make it work right now. Trust me. Trust me. It's happening. But yeah, basically today we are going to be utilising Looperman to make crazy drill beats, basically. Looperman, I feel like it's one of the most underappreciated tools that people use or don't use is basically how I make 90% of my beats because it gives you a really good starter, like a very simple eight bar starter and you can just build around it kind of thing. And there's a very simple way of finding good loops on Looperman, so I'm gonna show you. So here we go, we go onto Looperman and as you can see, I've already typed in Nardo Wick, but you can essentially type in any artist really, any artist, um, mainstream artist, that you know has a certain you know if you know it's going to be a dark sound or you type in little baby and you know you're going to get like the little baby kind of stuff i'm just using nada wick because i wanted some kind of darker drilly kind of stuff um and here's the key you go to order and you order it by downloads now listen if you have an ego about other people using the same loops as you this is the part where you go away because other people have used these loops this is how we're gonna, we're basically sorting the loops by popularity, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's gonna be the popular ones at the top, the ones that have the most downloads. However, these are nine out of 10 times the most fire loops. You know what I mean? You don't wanna be scrolling through a bunch of bullshit for a few hours, like, you know, you want you want to find the real deal like that. No long thing, and this is fantastic for like artist sessions, anything where you're under pressure basically you can just pull it up even have a couple of these you know pre-downloaded and that and also same way with Looperman you're not you're not splitting it you're not splitting the tab you know what I mean you get into keep all of 100% thing you know what I mean because Looperman you have to sign a little clause and they can't get shit from it basically so you, you want to be utilizing this free tool it's exceptional it's fantastic we are going to have a little flick through, see what we can find on here. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I realised that the computer probably didn't record when I was actually on Looperman. So this is the loop that I found whilst on Looperman. Here it sounds. change the BPM to 146 get like a little little jumpy kind of tempo going on we're going to put this on stretch I've recently converted to FO21 I've been longing it out FO21 is kind of cool though so if you fuck with a house you do you should fuck with 21 because it's it'd be working man you know what I'm saying it's 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 working we're also gonna whack on you already know what's happening you know five classic clipper did I press record I'm a G for that still. I'm a G for that, you know what I mean? And then we're also gonna drag and drop a vocal sample that we found. It just, it's great, it just snaps into time as well, it's fantastic. And we're just gonna pitch it until it fits. We're gonna do some fast stuff. Just reverse the vocals, cause it makes them more drilly, I guess. Flange it, all of that good stuff. We're gonna put the main loop on a on a on a mixer channel stereo shaper. Parametric EQ, just take out some below ends. And we're gonna pitch it down by like three.
I reckon we can find another loop as well just to stack on top. We're gonna take this other loop which we're downloading and you probably can't hear because I've got the wrong settings on my recording but we started now and it's too late to stop. So we just gotta be cost effective and that, you know what I'm saying? Just like it says on the other thing, cost effective cloud servers and that, you know what I mean? Bosh! Alright, drag us in, see what we can make happen. Uh, screw that, we're not gonna add anything else. We're gonna add a bass and we're gonna get the feeling of the thing going and then we're gonna we're gonna add drums and we're gonna start adding layers and we're gonna you know, progressively just progress from that kind of stage there. Real quick, we're just gonna drag in filler. Drum kits, bush bash bush, this is the part in the description. Yeah, drum kits, description, check them out. Offers, special offers, special deals, big, fat drum kits drum sounds like this is this is kind of this is slightly what you need in your life to kind of level up your producing game we've got a couple of kits down there we've got some free kits we've got some paid ones you've got blah 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 just go and check it out do yourself a favor go and check that shit out let's just start off very simple drill bounce you know i feel like whenever you start off with this drill hi-hat you've kind of got two options you can either go with a heavy one or a lighter sounding one because we're a bit faster tempo we're going to go with a lighter sounding one just for today Keep it very simple, and you know how I like to do it. We're just gonna edit the pattern around it, just take velocity down on a couple of the notes, and then we'll see how it sounds. Sub bass, I'm gonna just use this fat, thick, tick, happy sounding sub bass. Basically, we're going to pitch it down by five so the bass is sitting at the correct octave. chords we can go ahead and we can start layering some some of our own melodies around it and kind of building a, a, a chord structure as such you know we don't want it to just be the straight the same thing all the way through it's not that kind of beat So we've got a basic pattern down now, we're just gonna, gonna start adding some more percussion, the 808s, and then, then basically, like 90% away there, 
You know how we like to keep it simple. We like to keep it simple as fuck. Trust me. Cool, so this is basically just our area pattern. Again, not not too many slides, and we're kind of playing around with velocity a little bit. So we've got this bit here where it's like coming to and it's, it kind of gives it some, some more feeling than that. We're gonna go to the mixer, start mixing shit a little bit. Distortion the 8 always. Distortion the 8 is great because even if it sounds clean on its own, when it's with a mix, it may not have enough thickness and substance. So when you put distortion, it kind of gives it a space in the mix, it gives it its high end, and it all kind of blends together, you know what I mean? Cool, now we're gonna add like the heavier, the heavier hi-hats and they're, they're only gonna go like this. Very, very simple, da, 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 gap. Da, 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 da. And that's actually all you need from that. Yeah, 21, can you do something for me? 21. I'm gonna add this bell because it's like a really nice accent. Like you want to make sure that the start of the, the two major bars, so the, 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 the one and the, the five, these they need to be they need to be accentuated. You know what I mean? And then the last thing for percussion really, it needs you know, a couple of these perks, so we're just going to bring velocity down, is it going to be like a little, what's it called, snuffing, splash, just look. Mm, it's very little, but it does a lot. And then just so we've got even more variation, we're going to take out the kit, take out the array, and then we're going to just do the spins, just for good luck, because this little spin switch up is very popular in today's music climate, you know, I feel like a lot of artists really fuck with it. It's a nice way of creating a different bounce, a different section, kind of differentiating a, a, a chorus from a hook or a, that's the same thing. A verse from a chorus or whatever you want to do, you know what I mean? So 2022 kit. Cool, excellent. And now we're just gonna press split by channel. And someone actually taught me this, you know, the other day where you just select all of them and you kind of just drag it in like that. And it's an easier way of kind of separating them out. So yeah. Ever put me onto that? Shout out you, man. I appreciate you, man. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you, bro. Basically, how we got arranged right now at this moment in time 
is we've got 16 bars of intro, bish bash bosh, and it drops into the hook. So the suburban vocals drop out and you need to get the normal bass pattern. And then we're gonna move into a verse and this is where we're gonna pitch that main melody up. So here he is, pitched up by 12. And we're gonna introduce that spin eight away and then we can also and kind of get away with having some more variety, you know. Pitching up by 12 or down by 12 or whatever is basically the quickest way of getting any kind of variation in your beats, it's fantastic. Cool, and then we've got like that little section there where it's like, we take everything out and it's like a bridge and then press command V and we copy and paste it all and over again. You know, what we wanna do is add a one, two, just more drops throughout the entire thing. But other than that, that is basically the entire beat. Done, dusted, bish, bash, bosh, le bosh. Yeah, man. Appreciate it if you watch the video. Hope you're fucking with it. Looper man, great. Utilize it, fantastic. Kits are in the description, as always. Uh, there's gonna be a new beat channel. I've just decided about 10 seconds ago, I'm gonna make a new channel for beats. So link in the description, this beat will be there. You can go find it, bitch bash bosh. But yeah, beats on the other channel, tutorials on this channel. I'm gonna play the beat for you now. Hope everyone enjoys. Take care, bye. for me can you give her up snacks for me